After having her friend captured, the world's most venomous snake decides to gather the zoo animals to go in search of her true home in the mountains while on the run from a bizarre hunter. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Back to the Outback, from 2021. In the Australian Wilderness Park, home to the most beautiful animals in the world, several children are impressed by the creatures, until they come across Pretty Boy, the most acclaimed animal in the place. However, Dolores, one of the children, wants to see other, more dangerous species, so she goes to the House of Danger, where she encounters snakes and angry alligators. Suddenly, a giant crocodile appears in front of her, causing the little girl to scream in despair. Meanwhile, in one of the venue's cages, some lizards and a spider are preparing for the show, as well as Nigel, a scorpion, and Maddie, the snake. At the same moment, the park janitors arrive holding claws and take the animals away. One of the men goes over to Maddie, a snake with bluish skin, who curls around his arm in a gentle way, looking cute even though she has sharp fangs. Chaz, the main hunter on site, introduces himself as a hero before announcing the female crocodile, who is called Jackie. The angry monster charges at Chazzy, so his father jumps on her with a lasso and traps her. Soon after, he introduces the scorpion, the poisonous funnel web spider and a thorny devil lizard that was under his hat. Finally, Maddie is announced to the public as the Taipan Serpent, the most poisonous snake on the face of the earth. Inside the box, the creature is eager to make a good impression on the public, so Maddie smiles at the dozens of cameras trying to capture a photo of her. However, when she shows her teeth, everyone goes into despair, which leaves the viper confused, as she didn't know that she caused fear in people. On the other hand, a koala called Pretty Boy is one of the most famous and cuddly animals, as even professional wrestlers and astronauts follow his routine. Later, the guards return the crocodile to its cage and it lets out a roar in order to play with them, but the men believe that it is really angry. After all the animals return to their cages, Maddie feels very sad for having scared people at the show, because she wants to be special and loved like the koala. Faced with this, Jackie remembers where she came from, a place full of mountains, where she believes they all came from together, and that they can find their way back and meet their true family. The next day, the hunter's son wakes up all the animals suddenly, except for Pretty Boy, who gets up spontaneously and is treated gently by the staff. In addition, the audience throws things at the other creatures, and the children cry with fear when they see them. In an accident, Chazzy ends up falling into the crocodile pond. The staff grab the animal, believing it is going to attack the boy, but it struggles from side to side and manages to escape. Not understanding what's going on, Jackie runs after the boy to try to calm him down, but everyone believes she's in a rage. An alarm begins to sound and the crocodile's friends see the guards trying to capture her, at which point Maddie becomes desperate and tries to break the glass of her cage. The lizard then asks her to calm down and goes to check on Jackie, who is being taken away in a cage. Later, the animals in the park feel sad because the crocodile is no longer there to tell the story about the mountains. So they all ask Maddie to talk about nature. However, the snake no longer wants to talk about it, but intends to go there, inviting her colleagues to accompany him. That night, Zoe unlocks the cages of everyone in the group, so they lose the security guard at night and go over the wall. They then pass through the botanical gardens and end up getting full of thorns and having to dodge carnivorous plants. Along the way, the group comes across Pretty Boy's cage, where they find him playing with a wind chime and making a lot of noise, so they ask him to be quiet because they might be found by the guards. However, the cuddly animal shows that he doesn't care what happens and continues playing. Maddie climbs the tree, causing him to run in fear and jump to the wall, where she tries to calm him down, but the koala remains desperate. Then Nigel strikes him, causing his mouth to foam from the poison, and the little one ends up falling off the wall. Down below, Pretty Boy crashes into a tree, which throws him back up, then he falls into the swing of his cage, which throws him to the ground once again. Maddie believes that the animal is no longer alive, but her friends claim that the scorpion's venom only makes the victim fall asleep. Even so, they need to remove the koala's body from the site, so the snake decides to take it with them on their journey. Suddenly, Frank starts dancing out of his mating instinct, leaving everyone surprised. After that, they look at the city where they should arrive after crossing the great distance of water in front of them, but they need to find some kind of boat. So they find a raft that was actually a bird's nest. During the journey, they come across a shark that begins to surround them. The animal opens its jaw full of sharp teeth, but begins to talk to them in a friendly way. In its teeth, there are several strange fish that speak when it opens its mouth. The group tells the shark that they need to find nature, so the predator gets excited about helping them and ends up breaking the makeshift boat in half. He claims that he is part of a scheme called the Ugly Secret Society and gives them a secret code that they can always speak when they are in really dangerous situations, because a member of the order will appear to help. When the creature speaks the code, 
dozens of sharks appear on the scene. Soon after, he decides to help the animals and takes them to the other side of the lake. At the zoo, Chaz and his staff find the creature's cage open and believe that they have escaped and taken the koala with them. Despite wanting to call animal control, the hunter decides to comply with his son's request and intends to hunt down the fugitives with his bare hands. Meanwhile, the animals manage to reach the other side of the river, and as soon as dawn breaks they say goodbye to the shark. The koala separates from the rest of the group, deciding to go his own way. He parades through the streets believing that everyone is admiring him, but even so, people are afraid of him because there are advertisements on the walls saying that he is a rabid animal. Suddenly, the humans gather around him and begin to believe that he is in a rage. At the same time, the other animals hide among the garbage in the alleyways and decide to continue their journey. They try to ask Pretty Boy for help, but realize that the animal is in trouble and brings dozens of people close to them and even a policeman. Faced with this situation, Matty decides to call in the disgusting secret organization and utters the code. However, the citizens jump on them and when they get up they realize that the creatures are no longer there. The animals enter the sewer, where they come across thousands of spiders known as Black Widows, which makes Frank very excited, without knowing that the little monsters are also part of the secret organization. The creatures decide to help them cross the sewers. Along the way, the leader of the group interrupts the journey, claiming she's waiting to flush, and then an absurd amount of dirty water appears, causing them to be dragged through the pipes. After getting used to the water, they start to have fun and even surf. The group stops at a certain place and is sucked outside, being thrown through the air into a construction elevator. Soon after, Pretty Boy presses one of the elevator's buttons, which causes the object to descend in an uncontrolled manner. Then everyone comes across Chaz and his son. At the same moment, the man throws his lasso to get closer to the animals, but ends up losing sight of them. In fact, the animals were all hidden inside the clothes of a woman, who was startled to realize their presence. After everyone has crossed the street, Pretty Boy is moved by an image of himself on the big screen of a building, so he stands still in the middle of traffic. The koala realizes it's a tribute, as everyone believes he's no longer alive, while cars pass by and almost run him over. Faced with this, Maddie decides to make a catapult out of her own body, throwing Nigel and saving the animal's life. Then they all head out into the street and the hunter tries to hit them with a tranquilizer, but ends up hitting a random man in the street and the animals manage to escape in an ice cream cart. Chaz is ready to give up the hunt, but his son manages to identify the license plate of the car to track them down. At the same time, the group of fugitives arrive in some kind of classroom, where there is a skeleton in an aquarium full of fish admiring a disgusting frog singing and spitting flies out of its mouth. At that moment, one of the insects lands in the koala's mouth, so the frog sticks out its tongue to grab it, smearing Pretty Boy's mouth with disgusting goo, and then sticks its tongue in his eye. The amphibian asks Maddie to let them go and she doesn't realize that there are signs on the walls warning about toxic animals, even though Zoe warns her. So the snake releases the talking frog and his girlfriend. As a token of their gratitude, the couple claims that they can ask the schoolchildren to help them and that they can use the school bus to get to the mountain. As they're about to get on the bus, Pretty Boy starts complaining, so the scorpion strikes him once more, causing him to faint. Then the group goes under one of the buses and the koala gets his tongue stuck in the ground, about to be run over, but his colleagues help him. Finally, they manage to get on one of the vehicles and have to go to the Blue Ribbon student's bus, as she seems to know the mountains. The animals then get on a skateboard and jump over a pole to the right car. However, they lose Pretty Boy, who remains on the skateboard but is thrown into the bus when his vehicle goes over a speed bump. Soon after, the hunter and his son arrive at the school, and the boy threatens another child in order to get information. Later, the group of fugitives observes the landscape and realizes that their enemy is approaching at full speed. The man asks Chazzy to drive the vehicle while he throws a tranquilizer dart at Pretty Boy, who is thrown into the bus by the other animals and the children find him cute, but are frightened when the others appear. The youngsters start trampling the animals, but are interrupted when the hunter manages to break into the bus. The group of creatures hide under the benches and Frank ends up being enchanted by a toy spider, which attracts Chaz's attention and he hits the object with a knife. At that moment, the girl with the blue bow finds them and hides them in her bag. Suddenly, the man steals the girl's bag and opens it, but there is no one inside. On the other hand, he finds the koala and shows it to the students, claiming that it has been eliminated by the other dangerous animals, and then throws it out of the bus. After Maddie says goodbye to the young woman, they look down the cliff looking for pretty boy, but a rock slips and they end up falling down the slope, finding their friend lying on the ground below. At the same time, they don't realize that the hunter and his son are on top of the mountain, so the man ends up slipping and falling on top of the creatures, accidentally trapping Maddie with a tree branch. Suddenly, the rest of the group jumps on the guy, 
but they end up falling into a hole and being trapped by the enemy's hat. Only Pretty Boy is free, and he tries to approach, receiving a blow that sends him flying. After that, Chaz prepares to apply a tranquilizer to the snake, then the koala recites the secret organization's security password, which causes some Tasmanian devils to appear and start attacking the man. The angry creatures release the others from the group, tearing the man's hat in half, so the hunter kicks one of the little monsters and heads for the cliff, trying to climb up a rope while the beasts chase him. The guy reaches the top of the mountain feeling very thirsty, so his son hands him a rather dubious liquid to drink, which makes him confess that he didn't grow up in the mountains, but in a normal house and that he's not an adventurous guy. At the same time, the animals reach a huge cave, where they will be guided by thousands of sinister bats that are part of the secret organization. After that, they reach a field full of cows, where beetles help them to wrap themselves in the animal's wool to hide and get through the crowd calmly. They pass various creatures from the organization, from wild boars to platypuses, who guide them through a swamp. Still, Chaz continues to track the group, and now he's convinced some tough bikers to join the hunt. Later, Maddie sings a song to her friends and recalls the moment she was born. In fact, when she was inside the egg, the snake was left by a hawk on the road, where the hunter found her and witnessed her birth. The viper believed she had something special with the man who found her, since he was the first to see her born, but she knows he only cares about himself. The koala claims to Maddie that he never knew his mother either, as she lost her life during childbirth. After the conversation, Pretty Boy accepts that the snake can be his friend, so they both get ready for bed while looking at the stars, which they believe to be human dandruff. The next day, they talk about what they're going to do when they meet their families. Suddenly, the koala comes across other koalas of his species and is instantly enchanted, abandoning his traveling companions. Maddie wonders if he's not going to say goodbye to her, so her partner returns, but only to take some of the spider's goo and smooth his hair, leaving the snake hurt because she'll miss him. The rest of the group continues their journey, and after crossing a forest of trees, they find the mountains that Jackie had mentioned. They head downhill at full speed and when they reach the bottom, they come across several animals of their species. At that moment, the spider begins to perform his mating dance because he has spotted some girls looking at him, but he is ignored because the mating season ended the day before. Suddenly, Nigel starts talking about the color palette of the place, alerting the other animals that they are from the city. However, they are frightened by the bikers who have arrived on the scene with the hunters. Everyone starts running desperately with the humans and, during the confusion, Maddie ends up disappearing, so her friends who were in front of the cars are captured. Maddie appears on top of one of the rocks, but falls on top of Chazzy, who is frightened. At that moment, he realizes that she is also very frightened of him. However, his father appears and catches her, locking her in a cage in the car. While the animals lament their imprisonment, the boy is moved and pushes the snake's cage out of the truck, but his friends are still in the car. Faced with this situation, Maddie goes up to the mountains and asks the other animals to help her rescue her colleagues, and they deny her request, but Pretty Boy appears to join her. The koala's relationship with his family didn't work out because they were too superficial, so he decided that his place was with his real companions. Pretty Boy and the snake continue their mission, together they break into a counter to find a car. The hunters flee with the animals and the snake and his companion appear in a fire truck right behind, speeding away. They then throw the fire escape towards the chase car, then Chaz shoots at them. Maddie climbs the ladder while the other bikers also try to hit her, causing her to lose her balance, but she manages to hold on using her tail. When the snake reaches the other side of the ladder, she notices that her koala friend appears on her side, indicating that there is no one driving the truck. Nigel apologizes to Maddie for taking her away from the quiet of the mountains, but she realizes at that moment that those animals are her family, even if they are not of the same species. Suddenly, the fire truck goes out of control and the ladder starts spinning frantically with the creatures on top. On the other hand, the other animals in the group need to get out of the cage, so the scorpion lets out a loud scream, which causes the glass of the prison to shatter. Pretty Boy begins to slip and ends up falling on a motorcyclist, the man threatens him with a knife, but Maddie appears and attacks him, causing the man to fall off the bike. The koala then takes control of the motorcycle and Maddie uses her body to steer the handlebars, while the opponents continue behind them. However, Chaz starts shooting using a powerful bazooka, even though his son begs him to stop attacking. Just as he's about to hit the animals, thousands of collared lizards appear, causing him to lose control of his gun. Snakes and spiders also appear in droves, throwing webs at the bikers. Soon after, the group of koalas also help by stealing the hunter's gun. The beetles join the mission and push rocks that weigh tons, knocking down the enemies. One of the rocks hits the man's vehicle, where the beetles are too, but they manage to grab onto the fireman's ladder before they are crushed. However, there is a huge cliff ahead, 
so the man takes control of the vehicle to break it. At the same time, the animals save Pretty Boy, who is on a rock rolling towards the cliff. The car narrowly misses falling, but some rocks come up and knock it off the cliff, leaving only the ladder on solid ground. So the creatures hold on while Chazzy clings to the end of the ladder, which is on the edge of the abyss. The animals put stones under the object to give it a foothold, but Maddie and the koala team up and the snake digs its teeth into the hunter's bracelet, which manages to pull them back out. Then father and son celebrate and pretty boy realizes that Maddie is still wrapped around him, but her body is very light, so he notices that it's just his friend's skin. Chaz hugs all the animals in gratitude and remembers the first time he saw the snake. Later, the animals return to the mountains, where they are greeted by a huge party. There, they meet the poisonous frogs, which are already full of young. The group is surprised by the director of the secret organization, whom they need to thank personally, so they run into Jackie, who has been looking after them all this time. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.